Yeah, we're actually really happy how this uh, river turned out. It uh, was very, very violent. And with the zigzag design, we slowed it down a bit. And with the different levels, we slowed it down a, a bit. And we're trying to keep it as natural as possible, which is not always that easy if you want to uh, prevent massive flooding. This river gets really angry, so you gotta be very careful. We're really happy about an area like this, for example, this ponding area. It actually fills up completely with leaves, which gives us so much uh, compost. It's, it's incredible. The same with this uh, catch basin or this round basin here. It fills up completely with this beautiful brown silt, which you can use to compost again to make incredible topsoil. And it goes so fast, like within three weeks, that stuff turns into beautiful, rich topsoil. Here's the uh, view. Um, it's very peculiar. The river fills up with beautiful rocks. Uh, naturally just any rainfall pushes these nice rocks in so the bottom of this river always looks good and looks very clean here we're uh, opening up the river for the first time again to just to see what the water does when it goes down uh, this uh, secondary river and uh, when it goes down it uh, shows us the pathway and the problems that we have to solve. We have to raise um, the river down below so that this gets deeper. So we realized that very quickly, which helped. So having this uh, river go through actually shows us a lot of information. We had to um, close the river back down because it was filling up with gravel right away. So we, that would hinder our process of building this river. So it was very important to uh, just do the test close the river back up and continue with our stone and cement work. That was very, very important to, uh, just to see what happens when this river runs through here. And this was during the dry season, so the river wasn't very powerful. But uh, when it rains, that river gets so violent. We have to make sure we protect our, our land from uh, flooding and uh, getting our topsoil ripped away. So that was very, very important to build this uh, structure. Here you can see this uh, little pool collecting and it fills up with the richest soil you could ever imagine. It's fantastic. So we shut the river down and then we just basically harvest all the topsoil in that pool. Here you can see our dipping pool that's going to be accompanied by a sauna and the water is mineral water from the uh, mountain above. So it's like going to be so healthy to bathe in there and to take a sauna afterwards. So you, if you plan out everything, it's a great, great place to visit and a great place to, uh, you know, improve your health. There's no question about it. You can just look at that water and you see the minerals in it. So basically this test was really important just to see the behavior. Here you can see that we need to raise this basin way up to contain the water up higher. If we do that, then the gravel will settle and make the bottom of this river look so beautiful. So that's basically the, the scenario here on this uh, pool filling up. You can see the, the topsoil in the soil, so you can imagine how much uh, topsoil does settle. We have another video that shows us harvesting out of this uh, basin, and uh, it shows basically how beautiful that soil is. So after we'd, we've done this little test, we shut the river down again and started to do our cement and stonework again and made it uh, very, very functional and high enough so the river could never damage us again.